So I am waiting for Danny to get here. She's gonna help me. Oh, I think she's here. Essentially, we'll pull everything out mm -hmm. of everywhere. Okay. Create categories. Okay. I'll ask you some questions about what you use the most frequently. The thing about it is it's fluid, so we'll try something, see how it feels, and then adapt. In between our first session and second session, we placed a big container store order and all that arrived. Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Danny. Hi, Amy. How are you? Look at your amazing new kitchen. I know. It's, totally it's amazing. Transformed. Okay, let's get into a little tour. Well, kitchens are pretty fluid. We wanted to make it really intuitive for you about how you prep in this space. So we kind of designated this whole side as like your morning rituals, breakfast, smoothie bowls, supplements, vitamins. So I'll take you over here to start. Before we had plates and cups here, but it just didn't make the most sense. Um, these baskets make it easy for you to grab down what you need, as opposed to when plates and bowls were up here, it was like we're kind of on the shorter side. Yeah, we couldn't um, so reach that. So it was a little that. harder to get to this totally. area. So these baskets make all this really accessible to you. And then yeah. on this first level is sort of your supplements. Um, Which I love. Yeah, coffee collagen, all that fun stuff. Down here, we put your most used products decanted in these um, different glass jars to add some decor and also makes it super easy and accessible since you told me that these are the things you use most frequently every morning. And then over here, we kept cups here for easy access. And we made this sort of your snack pantry in the kitchen. We added these alpha pullout drawers from the container store. Working with what we had, we just made this water bottles and um, sort of vases and serving bowls. These are all in here together, so it just yeah. kind of makes it easy to find. Yeah. Um, and they're not like rolling around everywhere. Right. Your plate drawer. Because mm -hmm. of the depth of these cabinets and the depth of these plates, it made more sense to actually turn this into a plate drawer. Down below, we have Tupperware. We keep all the lids off so that it's easy to stack different things inside of one another and maximize space. And then we actually got this lid organizer from the container store that we slid into the drawer. Here we put your cutlery. We just added a little bamboo organizer. I like to use bamboo whenever possible because there is no away. So if you didn't want this anymore, bamboo does decompose um, as opposed to plastic. Over here we put your saran wrap, your plastic baggies, your reusable baggies, like to-go chopsticks. Mm -hmm. um, just sort of the to-go essentials. And then this side of the kitchen, mm -hmm. we sort of turn this into like your where you would meal prep like dishes. So over here we have your utensils that you would use at the stove, most used. Then one drawer down, we have the more like specialty utensils as well as measuring cups. Once again, it would be ideal if we had a drawer that wasn't so deep, but we had to work with what we had here. Then one drawer down, we have mixing bowls and strainers. We have your cookware, so pots, pans. We got this $5 lid organizer from the container store, which is just sort that. of like really easy, life-changing um, $5 item. And I added an elevated shelf here um, because of the amount of space that we had. It made the most sense to add a, a little bamboo riser. Here, I added two bamboo tiered shelves so that all of your spices are super accessible. Easy to see. Up here, we decanted your backup sugar. This is backup salt that lives down here in this little tray. And then a big coconut oil, just like oils and like cooking um, sauces and vinegars in general. And they're on these bamboo turntables, which as a short human makes it really easy to see everything you have. Then we come over into the laundry room slash pantry, this place we like totally transformed. Yep. There was this like built in old like 1930s like kind of shelf here that went into the wall, which was really not helpful. So you had that patched up and we built out this um, shelf right here. Yep. Um, and this becomes your sort of like accessible laundry station. We added this basket for your gym shoes um, mm -hmm. or muddy shoes. This is sort of the dog station canned dog food. We also have the can, um, the decanted dog food in this container here as well. And then we just turned this into product backstop for you because you get an influx of product for the work that you do. So we wanted to sort of streamline this and make it one, easy to see what you have, mm -hmm. easy to put away. The last thing we did was created sort of like a quote unquote junk drawer for you right here, a landing spot with your chargers, a place for your keys, your receipts for you and your assistant to sort of be able to move in and out of this space seamlessly so that there's not like 
stuff all over the countertop. So, right. and that's how we transformed it. Yay! Kitchen. And it, it looks, looks amazing. amazing. I love it. Thank you so You're much. You're so welcome. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.